All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are in Melbourne, Florida, going to one of our favorite Play It Again sports. We just got done filming an amazing video for the uh, main channel, something that we've never seen before, but uh, never know what you're gonna find here. So let's go find it. Let's go find it. Whoa, check out this title, this little bag thing. Sunday bag is awesome. It's, I think it's brand new at tags. That is pretty sweet, $69.99 on that. We used to use the uh, tailor-made one that we found in the thrift store. We used to use that in- Every thumbnail. Yeah, every thumbnail, because it just popped for some uh, <laughs> reason. Speaking of pop, I almost uh, popped my ankle on that uh, bowling ball. Let's see if there's anything popping off over here. In terms of the wedges, we got a uh, Ray Cook Blue Goose. If you ever find the uh, Ray Cook Blue Goose putters, those were designed by Scotty Cameron, the old ones. Speaking of old, check this out, a Crow Flight. Sweet spot irons. There's This is like a NASCAR driver in terms of the braiding. There's a logo go everywhere that's fascinating uh -huh. oh man all-time classic Taylor made the x300 FCI's those are so cool there's a bunch of tour issue ones that made it out into like the uh, market oh, that man. that is super super cool oh, we got a, a Yonix iron down here I think this was uh, two years ago or something like that the uh, Yonix clubs this year were our favorite at the PGA merchandise show especially the drivers they had this uh, shaft that was like a dual kick shaft yeah. that thing was super super nice also the people at that booth were ridiculously nice got a ping knockoff oh we got some pings right next to it the G10 and then we got the uh, eye wedge what else we got Dave Pell's Phil Mickelson's short game oh, I, I, got, <laughs> I got distracted right there a sonar tech wedge that is so cool. I haven't seen one of these in forever. They're more famous for uh, fairway woods, yeah. obviously. The Proto TBB08. What's a better name? That or all of that going on right there with the uh, Crow Flight? Slightly easier. That's kind of cool. It's got a really nice soul grind on there. Mm -hmm. Might consider that one. What else we got done? Speaking of a uh, soul grind, I think this is the console. Yeah, console wedge. Got another one of the eye wedges. Couple of Dunlops. Couple of uh, Callaway knockoffs. Got the pure spin. Let's see what they got in terms of the irons over here. Some Golden Bears, Dunlops, Adam's idea. Well, let's say a full set three wood all the way down to the sandwich for $150. Not a bad deal on that. Got the ladies big. I know this is the regular uh, big Berthas. $240 on that. Let's see what we got over here by the uh, bowling balls that I almost died on. <laughs> Steve Harris, head professional. Oh, that's just like regular. But that would be it. New alien Whoa. wedge. It's Roswell. Roswell alien wedge. If this was right hand, I would totally pick it up just to mess with it. That is fascinating. I've never seen that one before. Got a uh, mill grind three lefty wedge. I think we're in the lefty section, obviously. Got the uh, Ping G30s, a full set of those. Got the driver, a seven wood. Well, not full set. We got Wait. the F4 hybrid and we got a Ping I25. You don't really see very many of those. $49.99 on that. Got some uh, Ping O size left hand. Oh, check this out. That's so sick. These are the only two iron sets I played in high school the Titleist 990 DCIs and the MP32s. These are right handed. I picked them That's up. How much are they going for? Game. Yeah. <laughs> How much are these going for? $89.99. Story time. Oh, story time right here. These were the uh, first set that I actually bought once I started flipping golf clubs. My dad took me to a Golfsmith grand opening and I won a set of uh, Cleveland TA 7 irons. I didn't want them and then I like spent all this time researching what irons to get and I got the uh, Titleist 990 DCIs and I played them forever. I still have that set. Never flipped those into anything but... There you go, the origin, origin stories. I also had a set of uh, MP32s with mm -hmm. the uh, Aldi Light NV shafts in there. Those things were so sick. I also have a set of uh, MP67s with the Aldi Light NV shafts. He likes the Aldi Light NV shafts. Yeah, and Mizuto. But uh, <laughs> let's see what we got in terms of the putters over here. This is a goofy looking one. Oh, we got the uh, Malpy uh, sand chipper thing too oh, as well. Yeah. Get a custom paint job on. I think that's a Callaway S2H2. 499 right there. there. It's art. Yeah. It's whatever you interpret it to be. Malpy uh, sand chip or sand putter, that's what it's called. How much is that going for? $29.99 on that one. What else we have over here? Got a Wedgewood. Actually, Wedgewood commented on one of our videos. I forget which one it was. It's yeah. kind of oh the uh on the main channel we did the video of Rick Shields and they commented on the Wedgewood because you liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we got the X Factor hammer to the uh world's best <laughs> the world's best infomercial got the ping a zing one iron going for 19.99 got the yeah cleveland mashy right here these things are super uh, forgiving and underrated especially if you're uh, playing in weird conditions really like when cool it's super wet too. yeah it's like yeah school thing. i like that one a lot well, speaking of I like the oh. head cover better than the putter. Ashley's least favorite putter of all time, the Big Bertha <laughs> Warbird putter. putter. Or had like the head cover though. Yeah. Just, that kind of makes up for it. The head cover makes up for how much you hate the uh, putter? Almost. Almost. <laughs> see what we got over here. Got some Alien Woods. Got the new Snake Eyes. They were at the uh, PJ Merchandise Show this mm -hmm. year. That thing was... Sounded... Very interesting. Very interesting. Almost like the Nike uh, Square Drivers. Uh, it might be worse than the Nike Square Drivers. <laughs> got the Adams Insight. 
I love seeing these. We always say that if you ever find the drivers of this, the uh, BUL 5000, the big ugly long, unbelievably forgiving. You can find those for like $20 on eBay. And you're not gonna, named. Yeah, you're not gonna find anything yeah, more forgiving than that. What else do we got over here? We got a yeah, Titleist 975D, another classic. 1999, got the Graffoli Pro Light shaft in there. Got a Vixa V12, another as seen on I TV. Really like these. They're super yeah, easy. Yeah, we found those in a uh, thrift store like for three years dollar. ago for a dollar. Just crazy. Get a 907D2. I think this is the driver that Zach Johnson used to win his masters. Oh, here's the uh, Sonar Tech, the uh, wood that we were yes. talking about. SS 3.5. It's one of the later ones. They went out of business uh, a while ago, but they were very popular, especially with mini tour players. Oh, graphite design YS7. It's like a high school nostalgia going on right now. Got a crank three wood. They're like a long drive. Uh, driver company mm -hmm. but they also have a three wood apparently whoa the quadratic that's sick fascinating comment below if you remember the uh, square drivers <laughs> quadratic formula to yeah math and such yeah <laughs> i know the english words for math but i can't do oh man check this out a gt mini bobby grace it's one of the only uh, bobby grace mcgregor ones that we don't have in the collection 29.99 nice. that is super cool definitely going to uh, pick that one we got another bobby grace right here this is the fat lady yeah the fat lady swings nick price used to use it use this to win the uh, 1991 mat or pga championship speaking of pga championship this is a uh uh pga valhalla that's sick Humana. with the Humana. There's a uh, strange uh, collab. We actually have the uh, commemorative uh, Bobby Grace putter that he made for the 1991 PGA Championship. Yeah, we got that at a garage sale. So. Yeah, super cool. What else we got over here? We got the uh, newer Odyssey. Got Odyssey DFX. What do we got going on in here in this unbranded head cover? Let's see. Oh, wow. What? Mark, what? Maybe. Maybe. Wow. Oh, Betnardi. Nice. That's sick. An MB30. We actually, one of our subscribers sent us the Japanese issue of this when we did our unbox. That's so sick. How much is that going for? $149. That's yeah, he cool. sent us a, a set of uh, Ben Hogan graphite, uh, shafts. graphite shafts, the gold shafts, and a uh, Betnardi. I forget what the model is called, but the Japanese uh, issue version of this one. Yeah, that is cool. super, super cool. Oh. I would totally pick that up if we didn't already uh, have one. Get a Seymour putter with a head tennis wrap grip on there going for $25 pretty interesting uh, let's see. oh I didn't even notice that they had uh, iron sets up here what do we got going on pine meadow snake eyes snake eyes alien Jack Nicholas some Javathon tri Trinergy it's kind nope. of like synergy but more intense yeah synergies yeah i don't know where I was going. oh man check these out bridgestone tour stage 202s these are on my bucket list forever oh man these are the uh japanese facing brand of uh, bridgestone it still says bridgestone mm -hmm. right there but all of the japanese players played these when i was growing up i always wanted to say we actually just picked up another model of these but these were the actual ones that i wanted so 80 bucks that is insane it's got six iron all the way down to the pitching wedge in pretty good condition too it's got a little bit of undercut so it's easier to get up in the air and i mm -hmm. love the uh, soul grind on the uh, tour stage it's got like a little bit of a, a v cut so it cuts through the grass way better and if you like all right have a super swing steam uh super swing super steep swing easy, easy for me to uh, say it kind of like pops it back out you don't really chunk it yeah. definitely going to get those dang almost tripped on the bowling balls again <laughs> what else did we get I, yeah I think we're definitely going to get the uh, Bobby Grace. We're going to think about the uh, Soda Tech, but 100% going to get those uh, Tour Stage 202s. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That is so sick. Like you bought them new in 2008. 2008. That, $800. That would be a good deal. Off. Yeah, if you find a brand new set of clubs these days for $800, that's pretty insane. Man, let's take a look at the uh, faces on these. I think this is the 8 iron. That thing is like minty mint. Yeah. There you go. Thumbnail? <gasps> Nailed it. Well, we ended up getting the uh, Bobby Grace putter and the uh, tour stage irons, but check these out. We got the uh, Scotty Cameron divot tools for only $9.99 a piece. I think we're definitely going to pick those up and stay tuned to see what we uh, end up doing with those. You gotta make, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> going to make double transaction. Yes. All right. No stop in Melbourne is complete. If you don't go to this uh, downtown produce market and more, we go here every single time. It's so good. We'll uh, show you what we end up getting and we'll give you a little bit more information on what we're doing with those. Uh, yes. Divot repair tools. Is that what you call them? 
I think so. Divot tools. Divot tools. Yeah. That's what we're going with. There you go. All right, let's see if we can get the uh, downtown produce today. Oh man, I forgot how amazing this place is. Check out these salads. Just a regular Cobb salad for $9.99. We got some Greek salads over here for $8.99. Check that crazy. out. That looks unbelievably good. Look at these little ones right here. Iceberg wedge salad with about a, a lifetime supply of uh, bacon and blue cheese on there. And also check out how much prepared foods they have over here. Got a curry chicken salad. We usually end up getting a pound of that. Tortellini salad's really good. Man, what else? Chicken empanadas and tamales. Look at these twice big potato. Oh, you got these sweet potato so too. Pulled pork up in there, some chicken tenders. Cauliflower. Taco bake. Oh, goodness. Like arancini. Mozzarella arancini. The arancini at the uh, Epcot uh, Food and Wine Festival is always terrible. It's very bad. <laughs> Avoid that. It's also one of the most expensive booths. Yes. Never uh, anything good there. Sliced flank steak. Man, this place is just absolutely loaded. One of our favorite Played Against Sports and one of our favorite grocery stores, but we'll let you know what we end up getting. All right, after all that buildup, we actually only end up getting two salads. It looks so good though, so. I think we uh, made the right decision. Hope you guys made the right decision in watching this video. I think we're gonna do a giveaway on one of those uh, divot tools. All you have to do is like this video, comment your favorite salad type. There you go. There you go, that uh, won't mess up the algorithm. Salad comments on a uh, <laughs> random golf video. There you go. There you go, see if this is uh, good. And then uh, that will enter you into, uh, well you have to be a subscriber. There you go, that was good directions. That is that tomato good? tomato is so good. The tomato looks unbelievably mm -hmm. good. The mozzarella in there as well. Super fresh. Super fresh, hopefully you thought this video is fresh. I'll give it a little taste test of mine too. Cobb salad right here. Oh, this thing is huge. I have to do like, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. So I don't wanna get it all dressed up. <laughs> all dressed up. I'm gonna do a little dippage, a little <laughs> dippage. Maybe. Maybe. If we ever get to the eating part Technical of it. Technical difficulties. Just normal difficulties for us. <laughs> All right, but hope you guys did like this video. If you're ever in Melbourne, definitely check out that Play It Again Sports and this grocery store. Yes. We'll go back in there and get more groceries. We were just getting some food this time. There you go. Here we go. You can't shop hangry. Nope. Oh, oh no. No. Part of the bacon. Get, get a little egg action. A little cheese. A little something something. A little something something. Went with the honey mustard as the dressing. Oh, there's turkey in there too. Oh. Man, well there was before it dropped, but hope you guys did like this video. If you like and subscribe and We'll see you next time. So Let's good. Go. Best grocery store ever. Comment below your favorite though. That'll enter you into win one of those divot tools. I'll give we'll give away one of them here, and we'll give up uh, give away another one on our next whatnot auction. There you go. There you go. Win win. Win win. All the uh, information on that is in the description below. Hopefully this video was a winner, just like you. <laughs> I won because I got you. <laughs> All right. And with that, we're off.